shove shove the ace five rather. That's even better. Gentlemen, this could be it. It's been a fun battle. Made some mistakes. I mean, I'm sizing here with second pair quite a bit. I have like no timing and I can barely type in uh, what's going on. I think this is probably going to be Jack X if we check the turn. So we pray for the river. And we check. And yeah, this is just. He just plays his cards face up. Yeah, so. We'll have to, uh, you know, note that. Although he gave me too good of a price in the flop. I can probably just raise any two against this guy, I'm sure. He mint three bets. Good lord, this is really annoying, but. Just going to take my equity. He's going to check, and then he's going to bet very big on the turn. I'm going to call the turn. And we'll call the flop. He probably has like some kind of ace king, ace queen type of hand. And with that said, I'm going to keep that in mind and just try to target the uh, the ace king, ace queen high stuff. Maybe pocket nines or whatever. But betting small. If he has aces, kings, or queens, whatever, so be it. Uh, 18 combos. And he's not going to have jack x like that often. What is this fucking line, bro? Holy mother of God. He just never bets the rivers below, so I guess I call once. Wow, he check raised that hand on the turn. Alright, so we get to see some of his some of his three bet range, which is pretty pretty rough. If he three bets, which he has like a zillion times, I'm gonna four bet shove. And yeah, we've already seen it. Um, I think there's a reasonable chance he three bet calls a uh, worse hand. Like I don't expect him to fold ten here. Call sevens, whatever. I feel like he's gonna call. Dog. You dirty dog. Well, 10 ball would be nice, wouldn't it? This guy's a weird, like, timing tell on the turn, I'm pretty sure. Reasonable. River. I mean, for fuck's sake. Just don't see me folding, basically. Second top of my range, like, yeah. Just always fucking has it. How many times do I gotta pay this guy up before I fucking learn? Jesus Christ, but how do I fold the bottom of my. How do I basically fold the top of my range there when I get there with so many uh, bad combos? So many two pair type hands. Like, I was loving the river. So, like, pot bet. I'm just gonna shove here. I'm just going to lump some of the bottom of my range. We have a lot of reasonable back to routes here. I mean, if this guy like pots it, I'm just fucking puking so hard. I think we want to go for a large bet. I don't think this guy's going to fold a hand like 6-7 or 10x. We want to go for something like 2x pot. He's just going to pay us off a lot. Call, please. I'm not like particularly too too worried about my uh, sizing against a kind of, uh, guy like this, like having like perfect bet sizes and shit. I don't think he checks back Queen X. I think my ten's probably going to be good pretty much always. Okay, back to even. I haven't really gotten this guy in like a big pot, really, which is kind of unfortunate. Santa can exceed that a lot. Especially when we don't have back to our clubs or our hearts. Don't know as for sizing. I don't think we had to bet too big. Then we go for like a lot of large bets. Obviously, not blocking clubs or hearts. 
decent chance we go for the bet bet shove because he just goes for the call call fold a lot holy fuck this is sometimes a call for sure oh i have new time bank god like i guess he gets there with like can of three extra clubs would be a wide call. Seven extra clubs is definitely a thing. I would block hearts, which is nice. I wish I had a club in my hand. This would be a pretty easy call. But like, he has a lot of missed hearts. But, like, what if he bluffs four extra hearts, which would be really terrible for me? A really tough spot, actually. I think it just gets to the river with too many clubs. I think if I have a club, I think that becomes a little bit more interesting. Uh, we just have to ground this guy down at this point. It's, it's pretty brutal how little of hands we've made against him but i don't think i started off playing this heads up match very well either one double up and then we uh we switch to his chip lead you know what i mean and the next level is big blind 400k so it's it's about to get a little dicey This guy's absolutely relentless with his calling. I feel like this might make for a bit, good bit bet shove. Obviously, you know, blocking some spades. He just seems to be play, fast playing his top pair type bands. So he's gonna be stuck at 8x quite a bit. Obviously I have some immediate outs. And that is one of them. I'm not too, too worried about a flush. I mean, I guess. You know, if he colors me and he has a flush, he has a flush, but let's pray we get called by Queen X. Just got to fade the snap call. Be the hero. Be the hero. Queen X, how can you fold? You got the Queen of Spades. Be the hero. Win the bracelet, my friend. Win the bracelet. There we go. There we go. There we go. This guy's stick air and rice, bro. All right. Now we learn from our previous mistakes. I may manage to start open shoving over a lot of his limbs. Uh, these kind of hands kind of play very well post, so I don't think this is particularly a combo I want to be doing it with. This could be the last hand of the tournament. Against this sizing, this is a good sign. I'm going to check raise very, very small. Let's have the ace twos. Shove. Shove. Shove the ace five, rather. That's even better. Gentlemen. This could be it. Shove. Uh, what a, it just felt like that was it. When he's doing this pop bet stuff, it felt like it was it. I, I think I make a mistake here on the flop. I definitely should probably be checking back or better small. Uh, the problem is he's just calling me with too many hands. But I can't let him back in this game. Oh, he's getting to his river. He's getting to the river range with like a really, really big part of his range. It's a pretty like kind of dusty bluff I made, I think. Because the uh, the weird timing tells stuff again. Guy's like quite a hero, so I'm uh, going for very very big value bets against this guy. He certainly has worst uh, limp calls, so obviously very good blockers. Yeah, 
Fox. So what the fuck is he three betting then? What? God, this guy's something else. What are you three betting? You're not three betting jacks. Such a shitty turn. It's a good river. I think he bets all of it, most of his ASX on the turn. So we probably have the best hand. He's going to have 9x and 6x a lot. I think I probably need to actually chip up. Or uh, bet up a little bit bigger here. I sometimes value bet myself against ace three or ace deuce or whatever, but I think this is completely reasonable. Don't think he folds nine x or six x. To be honest, based on how he's playing, he just yeah. This guy invented the hood. Guy truly invented the the six three limp slash call. I'm just gonna go for fucking super low variance against this guy right now. Holy mother of god, this is pretty rough. Okay, wow, caught him on a bluff. Caught him with an equity bluff. All right, now we can start to uh, ideally just fucking. All right. Whew. I need that fucking break. Holy fuck. A little wild hour, dude. Honestly, I think I'm just going to shove. I'm just going to get this guy as short as possible. This hand plays fine post, but uh, he's just like not limping a bounce range. I want to get called by like a hand like Ace Deuce that plays okay, so I don't want this guy to have any chance of coming back. Get him as short as possible quickly. I have to induce this kind of hand, though. This hand's way too strong. Although he doesn't shove. Apparently. Okay, this could be it. This could be it, boys. Good luck, us. Flip for all of it. Oh my god. What a fucking hold! <laughs> Holy shit! We've done it. What a fucking hold, bro. Oh Bring it in here, bro. We've got a bracelet? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Congrats, Thanks, bro. Thanks, man. That one feels good. That, yeah. awesome. that was fucking intense. I think I played some shitty hands, but... I felt like I was just getting fucked. Yeah, I felt like it was just wild. Holy fuck me. What a day of fucking cards, boys. I have a bracelet. Bobby Hardware's back. Bobby Hardware is back. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. That one's a fucking. That one's. That feels good. That feels really fucking good. Yeah, guys. Thank you so much for being in here. Thank you for all the support. I can't hear all the follows. I'm sure there's a lot of you guys in here. Um, 800. Apparently, I wasn't watching. I had to. Uh, I had to uh, focus. I, th I, I, I think I played a pretty shitty heads up match. Um, I think I played okay at the beginning, really bad in the middle uh, with all the payoffs and then like pretty decent at the end. Um, but that's going to happen. Like you, it's very hard to like get a read on your opponent when you don't know anything about the guy and you're playing like a hundred, you know, the first 60 hands are just like fucking clueless guessing poker. So like you should just probably play in theory as close as possible and then go from there because I have no reads on this guy, you know. Like from, um, anyway, we fucking did it, gentlemen. I'm a fucking bracelet owner, I guess. I mean, it's kind of like a kind of like a, a fake one, but it's kind of cool. Also, I won. You know, uh, this is tied for a couple of my biggest days. Uh, 115k score. That's don't think it's my biggest online score, but I've I have quite a few a few around this this area. Um, wow, what a day holy fuck me jesus uh that was exciting i mean uh, kind of a pretty surreal feeling to be honest that's just as this is just as about as good as it's gonna get them to sleep very very well tonight um going into the fourth of july this is just fucking uh amazing you know really have a nice uh, celebration probably with tim riley uh guys like i said 
EPC is coming. If you want to learn uh, MTT or cash game poker, Elite Poker Coaching, uh, explanation point EPC in chat. Uh, sign up. It'll be coming within probably two to three weeks. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a heads-up player, so don't, don't take too much away from that. Uh, but I, uh, I think I played a really good tournament and then I played a, uh, you know, like I said, it kind of, maybe I beat myself up a little bit over that one, but, uh, the heads up match, but yeah, that was, uh, that was very exciting. It was very intense. Um, losing to that guy heads up would have been fucking pretty tragic. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for being here. I, I can't even believe it's 3am. I'm probably not going to sleep for hours. Um, this is a fucking absolutely awesome feeling and I appreciate all the support. Um, you guys have been fucking killer. All right, guys. I appreciate it. Love you all. Wow. Just fucking, I'm speechless. That's just awesome. All right, guys. Cheers.